everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a little bit of like a get ready with me plus talking about this year because well 2020 has been interesting to say the least. Yeah, let's just talk about how this year is going because I haven't really talked about how this year is going with you guys so we're gonna do it now even though we're like in October. Let's get started. Um, I'm going to be going to lunch with my mom today, so I thought today would be a good day to film me getting ready. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just get into it. So, how is everybody doing? I uh, hope y'all are holding up okay. Uh, for my primer today, I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Just gonna scoop a little up and put it all over my face. I need to pin my hair back. What am I doing? I need a little bit more of this primer. In January, I went back to school in Long Beach. I actually had um, surgery in January for endometriosis again. I had my first surgery in 2016 at the end of the year, uh, and then I had my second surgery January 2020 because, you know, endo likes to come back. Surgery went well. I headed back to school, made the drive down, and moved back in, and my semester was going really good. I was doing well in all my classes. Everything was going great. You know, I was getting out and doing stuff and hanging out with friends. And then March came around and COVID started becoming a thing in the United States. Um, I'm gonna be using the Glossier uh, Future Dew. I'm gonna be mixing that with this Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. So I'm just gonna be mixing these together for my base. So March came around. COVID became a thing and around mid-March, I think, or like almost mid-March, uh, my school decided to shut down all in-person classes because like it had just come to California. And so we got two weeks off for teachers to have a little bit of a break. Well, no wait, all classes were canceled for two weeks or a week or something. And then before even like a week had passed, they decided we're gonna shut down the school and of course during that week i'd been like talking to my parents because i was in the dorms on the other side of the state uh while everything was going down you know they were asking like okay if you had to get out like tomorrow morning would you be able to do it like what time could you get everything done and get out i said i could be out by noon and guess what happened the next morning <laughs> My parents call and they're like we need you to come back home right now they were worried that i wasn't going to be able to get out of the LA basin and get back to Northern California. They were worried that there were gonna be like like checkpoints and places where I couldn't cross and like get out. I packed up everything in my dorm in about four hours <laughs> and then drove halfway across the state so my parents could meet me and take me the rest of the way because doing a six hour drive in one day is interesting at best. So I did that. <laughs> then like two days after I got back, our governor of California, did a statewide lockdown. <laughs> so glad we got me out before things started getting bad. And by then we already knew that this semester was gonna be online. Cause originally we thought I was gonna have like more time to get out, but I didn't. So now I'm back at my hometown. Um, it's interesting for sure. You know, cause you get used to being in the dorms, getting, get used to being on your own and stuff. And suddenly you're back home. Uh, next I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. I've been really liking this. That cream bronzer. So I came back home, which was weird. Um, I know a lot of different uh, college students have had to do that too. Where else am I gonna go? Like if the school isn't open, what's the point of being in the dorms? Yeah, and I spent the summer here and the rest of spring semester and switching to online was definitely a learning curve. And man, we all hit like this one like wall where we're all like, I have no motivation. I do not want to get out of bed. School, schmool, don't want to do it. <laughs> Online school doesn't feel like real school. Does that make sense? Cause you're like, is it, is it? Am I actually in school right now? I don't know, having things online and not in person makes it feel like it isn't actually happening. For me at least, I lose motivation really easily <laughs> when that happens. I'm going in next to the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in Fair 10N because I am pasty. So I got through last semester. We switched to online after giving our professors only two weeks to put everything online. Uh, it was interesting. And this summer was kind of rough. I always kind of struggle when I don't have a schedule 
and I'm not like in school, I end up getting like really depressed. And then because of my health, I have like really bad asthma and I have some other medical conditions. I've been really scared to like go outside at all. Like it's, it's a lot of anxiety and a lot of like paranoia. The most I do is like go get prescriptions from Rayleigh's or go grocery shopping with like one of my parents. And it's so weird cause it's my whole family. We're all living at home together. It's like me, I'm 21, my sister's 23, and then my mom and my dad. And it's like, we're, we're just all back, even though we're like trying to think independently. I'm gonna be taking this Too Faced um, Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. I'm gonna set my face. Wait, never mind. I'm doing cream blush today. Um, This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk, and I'm gonna be mixing that with this Can Make Cream Cheek in CL01. I just like to mix it on the back of my hand and dot it all with my fingers and then blend it in with my sponge. And then uh, school started back up in August, which is good because I need a schedule. But before school started back up, I actually completely redid my room, which you might be able to tell. I painted the walls, I got all new furniture because originally my family wanted me to be in a uh, apartment this semester, but since that's not happening, uh, we decided, you know, let's just completely redo your room since you were gonna get all new furniture anyway. So it feels a bit more like, and feels a bit more like you're independent, which I really appreciate. Yeah, so I did it all myself. I put together all the furniture, painted the walls, uh, cause the other furniture that I had before was like older than me. <laughs> and I'd had it since I was like, four. <laughs> so I'm really happy that um, I was able to redo my room. So now I'm going in with the powder. Setting lightly, especially in the center of my face. That's where I get really oily. Semester's been going okay. Um, I'm a little frustrated because I prefer having my classes be like synchronous and actually have like a class like meeting time via Zoom or whatever. But uh, some of my classes are asynchronous, meaning we don't have you know, class time. It's just work on it when you have time. And then it, because when I applied for all my classes this semester, um, there was like a schedule conflict. And so I ended up having to have like a six hour night class. And I'm sitting here like, well, the conflicting class for this is actually asynchronous. So what's the point of why, why I have a six hour class? Yeah, this year has just been wild. I've really gotten into doing like more of a natural base, a little bit more glowy, not as like matte. Cause I know I have oily skin, but I love glowy too. Brows. <laughs> These little brows need some help. So I'm going in with this eyebrow pencil that I have from Daiso. It's just cheap. It's a good color. So uh, I've been having a really bad like pain flare up over the last week and I'm just really frustrated and tired and I just hurt all the time. And, like you know I had surgery earlier this year and it was supposed to like fix all this. My pain is just not going away. Don't even get me started on like the election coming up. Everything's just crazy. No matter who wins, people are gonna be upset. <laughs> people are gonna be upset, no matter the outcome. And then it's frustrating too, because I'm in my fourth year of my illustration degree at um, my university. And it feels like I'm not there. I'm not getting my money's worth. <laughs> I'm not getting the education that I was expecting because next semester is going to be online as well. This is the um, ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in Dark Brown um, because next semester we already know is going to be all online. So that's like a year and a half of my degree online, which is not what I expected, especially because art classes, there's like a certain vibe you get in person, like in the class that you can't really get online. Cause there's like a certain energy that you get because it's a bunch of people and you're all making art all at the same time in the same place. And this semester I haven't been able to do like any peer critique, which is one of my favorite parts of being in art school. It's frustrating because I want to interact with my peers and it's really hard to do that online. And like you barely ever see anybody else's work and it's frustrating. <laughs> But I've applied for the BFA, which is the Bachelors of Fine Arts for Illustration, and I really hope I get in, because <laughs> it's a really great program. But yeah, I really hope I get in. Um, this is what I've been trying to do like for the whole like college time, and I just really hope I get in. I really hope 
that I could get it and do well because this is what I've been waiting for and it's crazy that I've been in college for so long like this is my fourth year and because I'm in the art program because of my health issues it's just taking longer than a normal person would like they'd already like be applying for graduation but I'm not I'm gonna be kind of dipping into three different palettes today this is the try by Juvia's this is my little like custom um Sydney Grace palette it's very full and I'm also going to be dipping a little bit into the um Nikki tutorials and beauty bay collaboration uh, mostly just for one shade because it's just so pretty so yeah let's uh get started with that I already have a little bit of concealer on my eyes that's usually just what I use for my primer I'm starting with the Sydney Grace palette um, I used this yesterday and I did more of like a red orange look but today I want to do something more green which is also why I'm pulling in the tribe palette from Juvia's I'm gonna be dipping into this like yellow shade I, I'm too lazy to turn it over and look at the name but I'll try and let you know what it is but I'm just dipping in with that on a like nice big fluffy blending brush I'm just gonna be popping that in my crease yeah, I've been really into like kind of green and grungy looks this fall. I don't know what tipped me off to do that because I never do that. But I've just been really loving like green kind of grungy looks. And it's fun to like step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Just building that up in the crease. I am really loving these Sydney Grace shadows so far. They're very pigmented and very buttery. Take a slightly smaller um, kind of fluffy brush and take that same shade and kind of run it under my lower lash line. But yeah, how has your hair been going? Mine's been a bit crazy. Okay, I'm gonna grab another kind of fluffy brush. I'm gonna grab this kind of like grayish green color and pop that a little bit tighter into the crease. I like to work like light to dark with my eye looks. I know some people like to work dark to light. I'm an artiste and I like to do light to dark. That's kind of how I was taught to do color in different shades. Going back in with that yellow shade just to blend and make them be a little more seamless. I'm gonna hop over to the Tribe palette by Juvia's because there's a really nice green right here. I'm gonna use to deepen up my crease with a little bit more green. This is Morphe M506. I like this one for like really getting kind of tight in my crease. So I'm going into the shade Tootsie, picking that up, and I'm gonna be popping that in the crease. Just to kind of like intensify the green, because the Sydney Grace one like had some good depth, but the tone isn't really what I wanted, but it was a good like jumping off place. There we go. Going back in with a yellow. I really just like going back and forth between shades just so I can get it nice blended where I want it. Um, I'm gonna take kind of a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go back in with Tootsie and kind of line my lower lash line with that. I haven't been like too into eyeliner. I like more of just like kind of shading under my lower lash line with eyeshadow. I think it looks a little softer, not as harsh. But like of course my eyes are green right now, which is kind of harsh. Like I want it to look natural, but not be natural. Does that make sense? I'm gonna be going into the Nikki Tutorials palette. I'm gonna be taking this shade all in on my finger because this thing is just so pretty and I haven't had a chance to put it on my eyes yet, but today is the day. So I'm just taking it on my finger because I'm a heathen and I like putting on shimmers with my finger. So don't come for me. Whoa, just popping that on my lid. Wow, that is stunning. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade um, Misty Tutorials on my like kind of flat brush and kind of put that in the on the outer lid just so it kind of like blends a little more because the, um, the all in shade is kind of like more of a topper shade but I just want to bring something a little bit more opaque in the outer corner. I think I'm in love <laughs> with this eyeshadow. Oh my god. Then I'm gonna go back over to the Tribe. I like kind of hopping around between different palettes. I think it's really fun. I am taking the M213 brush from Morphe. I'm gonna be going into this Coro shade. This is like a really pretty kind of gold iridescent but like reflex green. I've been really liking using this as my inner corner highlight with my sort of green looks. Just doing my brow bone with that too. I'm taking this Emacs design brush. It's like kind of a fluffy highlighting brush. This is what I like to use for my highlighter. Uh, first I'm gonna be going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Ice Cold 
skin frost don't come for me I don't really support Jeffrey anymore but I'm not gonna throw away his products because of it because they were expensive and I like them so I'm just gonna keep him and use him but he's gonna have to really change his behavior and blow my socks off if I'm gonna purchase from him again so I'm just gonna take it and hit my cheekbones with that Wow, I am really pale in case you didn't know so having like a straight-up white highlighter is very useful oh my god I'm sweating all over my lip pop that on and then I'm going to be going on top of it with the e.l.f. multi-dimensional face and body shimmer from the uh, retro paradise collection this is more of kind of like a topper it's more of just like a kind of gold reflect glitter and I like just kind of like topping it on top of my highlighter so it just kind of amps it up a little bit. Uh, I used to do my mascara and then my setting spray but it just always messes up my mascara so I'm just gonna go in with this first. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray because I am sweaty and it is hot here. Well not hot but like warm because it's California. So I'm just gonna spray this on. <sighs> Refreshing. Just have a little fan that helps me just kind of dry it faster. But yeah this year is kind of crazy. If you feel comfortable you can tell me all about it in the comments what's the craziest thing that happened to you this year me is probably having to move across the state in like two days <laughs> that was fun there was a protest this uh summer which was crazy just be nice everybody just be nice to people just don't enforce stereotypes and don't be part of don't be complacent in systemic racism that's all i'm saying i'm in a really great uh language and social justice class so i've been learning a lot about everything <laughs> and how like our language and how we talk about things is really influential in like continuing systemic racism and how we can work against it so i'm gonna finish off this look with some mascara i was i did get some eyeliner out but i don't know if i want to do eyeliner i might just tight line my upper lash line this is the ColourPop cream gel liner this is the black one it's just simple and it works so i'm just gonna tight line my upper water line this always feels so weird when i do it I'm going to curl my lashes really quick and then we're going to pop on some mascara. Part of me just wants to like skip to Christmas and then have this year be done. Like can we just skip a little bit? Can we just skip a couple months? Um, I'm going to be going in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. I'm not a big like lashes person, like false lashes because I have, I have to wear glasses every day. I am as blind as bad. Not really, my eyes aren't that bad, but I don't need my lashes to be touching my glasses all the time because that would be annoying. Oh, I haven't talked about mental health. <laughs> uh, this year has been crazy and working with my therapist on it and, you know, kind of processing it. And we just need to be go easy on ourselves this year because we're already so stressed and if you have any mental health problems it just raises the stress levels and exacerbates everything and even if you don't have those issues you're probably starting to have them because of this year how crazy it's been and just so stressful and overwhelming it's like oh of course this is happening in 2020 like boom, boom. Oh, another thing is happening. Oh, this other thing is going on. Oh, yeah. So just be kind to yourself. It's a hard year for everybody. So just just love yourself. Give yourself time. Give yourself space to process things. People are reacting in different ways. A lot of people are being resistant to things, which is a problem. <laughs> but um, just be kind to yourself. Talk to somebody. Talk to a therapist if you need to. Just do what you got to do and just to be happy and get through this year because we're all struggling. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop X Sophia um, lipstick in Bikini Bottom. I've been really liking this lipstick. It's more like kind of a nude like lipstick, but it's like a neutral one. I usually go pretty like warm in my nudes. Nude lipsticks, that's what I meant. I think this color complements like a green kind of eye look pretty well. I'm going to pop a little bit of the Sailor Moon X ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Usagi in kind of like the inner part of the lip, like more towards like the inside, just to add a little bit more color right in there. Then I'm going to go in back with this lipstick and kind of blend it together. 
So it's kind of like a gradient lip. I've been really liking doing that. It's more of like kind of like a um, Eastern beauty technique of having like more color center of the lips and less on the outside. I think that's flattering for my lip and face shape. I feel like I need more blush. Let's go on with a powder blush. This is the ColourPop Sailor Moon one in uh, Cat's Eye. I really like this one. I'm just gonna be taking this blush brush on my nose. I just really like putting blush on my nose now. <laughs> I feel like a cute little fairy with a cute little nose. And I've been really liking putting like putting my blush up a little higher, kind of near my temples. I think it kind of lifts my face a bit. <laughs> I think that's it. That's the look. I'm gonna put my glasses on, put on a necklace, and I'll be right back. Ta-da! Here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. And if you want to talk about anything that's been happening this year, if you need to rant, if you need to get it off your chest, just comment down below. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Two hours later. Hi. So, um, I didn't go to lunch with my mom. And now I'm in bed because my flare-up decided to come back and ruin my plans. And I think I'm having a kidney stone, too. So, I love you guys. <laughs> I feel like this video doesn't even like have a point because like I'm not even going out today Anyway, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves <laughs> uh, bye. Uh, How am I already sweaty? It's like what time is it? 10 13 a.m. I'm already sweated glasses Emily Ugh. Get it together Emily Let me dip it. Oh my god. Okay. What am I doing next? Okay, what am I doing next? Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, what am I doing? Now, what am I doing? Okay, what next? I'm just a sweaty girl.